uh, perform enhancement dun sa ating ERD. And one of the rules that we need to follow always no, is to convert all many to many relationships to an associative entity. Since we cannot model many to many sa database, especially a relational database, no? uh, strict yod. So it is a form of normalization paggaling ka sa logical design. And with that, si Enroll, meron siyang many to many relationship. So we need to recreate it and make it an associative entity. So i-recreate natin to. Ayan. Then create natin dito si courses. Sulat lang natin ulit. And then yung courses. So since ano tayo, ang entity is usually singular lang dapat. Palitan natin ito ng singular only. Ayan. So singular. And then, we need to create our associative entity in between. So, usually, an associative entity may represented by rectangle, pero curved yung edges niya. No? Ayan, rounded edges. Then, lahat ng many to many sa kanya. So, lahat ng many to many sa kanya pupunta. And then, extend natin dito. Ayan. Automatic ito may gain 1. Then we'll name this one as we need to make it a noun. So yung enroll may yung enrollment na. Ayan. Then meron siyang attribute na grade sa loob. Meron siyang attribute na grade. Ayan. Then after that, pag naggawa nyo na to, ang next na i-consider natin is yung uh, mandatory at optional. So since student may enroll uh, one or many courses, so dito may ging optional to. So since hindi naman required no? And na mag-enroll siya. Then yung courses, di rin yung course na offered, di naman kailang enroll lagi lahat ng student. So optional lang siya na ma-enroll. So pwedeng uh, ma-enroll siya or hindi. Although, di naman nag-open yung full ng course na hindi in-enroll kasi sayang, di ba? Pero may ano yung student, no? uh, choice na kung i-enroll niya yun o hindi. Yan. Yung iba kasi diba nag-load management, kung ilan lang ito take nila for this term, ganun. So, pwede hindi na muna, kahit pa nilang ito, hindi muna lang ito take, pwede yung ganyan. So, of course, pag nagkaroon ng enrollment, dapat required na may student na nag-enroll. So, mandatory ito dapat. Hindi pwede magkaroon ng enrollment ng course, pero wala namang student na nag-initiate ng enrollment. Then, same when sa course, no? pag may enroll na student, uh, dapat may pina- may course yun na may kasama hindi siya pa yung mag-enroll pero wala siyang tinitake na subject no, kailangan pag nag-enroll ka may tinitake ng subject system. so mandatory yung pabalik dito so usually uh, if you convert many to many to associative entity naman madalas ano naman to mandatory na no? then yun nandito sa part na to will depend kung saan siya nanggaling no, kung ano yung nanggaling na rule dito. Ayan, we already now have our ERD and assuming na ito na ERD natin, no more enhancement can be done, lilipat na tayo to create the relation. No? So, logical design yan. So, this is your uh, ito, itong buong to, so lahat ito. Ayan. And you call this one as your logical design. And then next, uh, we will have our relation, our relational design. 